This conference will now be recorded. Hello friends and uh, good morning. Welcome. And uh, this is an announcement for a new AWS training batch which is going to start on April 4th uh, from uh, evening 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. folks. So uh, this is completely completely a new batch starting from the scratch for AWS and uh, we're going to start from the basics of cloud and we'll go to the advanced level where you can able to attend interviews on AWS uh, related uh, related jobs as well as you can take up the certifications for uh, developer as well as system operations as well as solutions architect associate so it will be from the April 4th and we're going to start from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. and this is only online guys so there is no classroom training I'm not taking any classroom trainings this is only online only and we have uh, we have this batch in English and the duration of this course my expectation is 60 hours it will be actually more than 60 hours at, at least it will be 60 hours and the important thing is the classes will happen on Saturday Sunday Tuesday and Thursday if it is required I might actually put it on Wednesday as well right now the plan is only have four days a week so which will give you enough room for you to practice the classes and then come back now the expectation here is you need to have a basic knowledge on AWS so sorry uh, you need a basic knowledge on Linux or uh, Windows in order to take this AWS classes uh, th the reason is without the Linux or Windows right uh, it will be very confusing and I really don't recommend uh, without not without not having any sort of knowledge at least try to have uh, some Linux basics and Windows if you want to have some Linux basics I already given uh, below the video right I have given some URLs for the Linux basics and AWS basics the YouTube videos of playlist which I have created so you can go through that one and then you can attend the class okay now the fees for this course is 12,000 and uh, you can actually uh, you'll actually reach me on uh, the uh, maverick202 at gmail.com or uh, srihashavi at uh, maverick-trainings.com and I can share my number I think I think uh, I'm going to put my phone number as well in the description you can reach out to me okay and uh, this is these are the meeting details before going to the meeting details let's understand the course curriculum so I also gave the URL for the course uh, course URL you can go through that one anyway I'm going to have a discussion so this is the course curriculum if you say Amazon Web Services and uh, my expectation at this, at this 50 days <coughs> this 50 days is for a regular batch actually this will be four days a week so my expectation is it will go for two months guys and let me tell you this is a complete hands-on this is not theoretical or running PPT this is completely practical oriented now coming down you can see like the curriculum is been divided into almost like 24 <coughs> 24 uh, modules so it it is a comprehensive course and it is a customized course guys it is not like uh, i take from a from the aws and trying to follow their certification no this this uh, training is being scheduled uh, or i can say like uh, modified for the people who want to have a hands-on real uh, real-time hands-on training as well as attend the interviews and also you can actually clear the certifications for Solution Arctic Associate, not the professional, but Solution Arctic Associate, and you can also appear for system operations and also the developer because I'm also covering the developer tools here. And we'll be starting from the scratch, like uh, like introduction to the cloud computing. You see, we're going to talk about what is AWS regions as well as IP addressing, how exactly the data center in Fry is. After that, we're going to talk about virtual private clouds, how the virtual private cloud networking VPC de uh, deal with the routing, routing groups, and everything. And we also deal with uh, the, the VPC peerings uh, between the regions as well as in the same region uh, which will which will allow you to connect two different VPCs and we're going to talk about network uh, network uh, uh, like address translation NAT gateways as well as uh, VPC endpoints which will allow you to reduce the cost if you use the endpoints and we also have a separate class for security groups as well as network ACLs so it, this will this will make you to understand how the traffic is coming and out of the VPC as well as reaching your servers and we also have uh, a, a, a complete comprehensive module on how exactly the VPN works so what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how your uh, data center will be connected over the VPN towards uh, the Azure so AWS and we also have VPC peerings with transit gateway which is a new thing uh, which is a which is a new concept coming in AWS where it will allow you to have multiple VPCs connected through a single transit gateway 
after that we have the ec2s we're going to go deep into v uh, ec2s discuss about the ebs volumes as well as discuss about the snapshot life cycle manager snap spot instances a lot actually so this this is this module will go for almost two three days actually or at least three days and we're going to talk about load balancing guys first we're going to have a discussion of application and network load balancer after that we're going to have in detail hands-on experience with network load balancer and application load balancer along with ssl certificate termination which is very important because nowadays every website is ssl so we need to understand how you would deal with the certificates along with the route 3 uh, zones actually and we go for auto scaling and i'm going to a little fast like we're going to talk about system manager uh, simple storage services glacier and storage related after that we're going to talk about red databases uh, mysql as well as uh, lambda as well as uh, dynamo db and redshift and elastic cache and let's go to the monitoring systems using cloudwatch and after that i'm going to deal with cloud formation templates and the cloud trail it's, it's, it's a big topic guys it will take a lot like almost like six seven classes and then we go for the most important another most important which is iam we're going to talk about access management we're going to talk about uh, active directory uh, or synchronizing the active directory single sign on organizations everything so again we're going to come we have some uh, route 53 and a certificate manager again we're going to introduce a certificate manager but we already discussed at the top and we're going to discuss about uh, global accelerator cloud front and uh, route 53 failover policies and then then comes the container services guys which is the docker uh, this is again a big topic which will take almost like four to five hours to discuss about how the containers works how what is a how you configure the docker how you configure ecs and with this batch actually implement uh, which introduced uh, i mean last batch i have introduced the fargate we are also going to discuss about the fargate next and here module 18 will give you a comprehensive overview about how you're going to uh, do the migration what what is aws 6r migration and we're going to talk about how you're going to migrate uh, the servers from vmware environment towards the cloud as well as we're going to talk about database migration services later comes the developer tools which are the ca cd stuff uh, for aws using code commit code build and uh, code pipelines this is very important because if you want to automate ci cd uh, you need to do this one and this is very essential for the people who are taking the developer uh, developer certification then comes the automation tools and uh, this, i'm going to give an overview of terraform as well as packer guys this is not a completely terraform and packer because it will cover we will cover this in devops but it will give you an overview how exactly terraform is different from cloud form cloud formation how can you create and uh, manage and uh, destroy the environments and in the module 21 we're going to discuss about like configuration tools this is also overview to understand how ansible and puppet this is this is we are actually putting our uh, our base environment or base knowledge for to go towards the devops after that we have the module 22 we have like a data analytics and this is a theoretical which will give you the overview about how exactly the uh, uh, data analytics works like a glue as well as athena and, uh, and the other things and finally sorry uh, and module 23 we're going to talk about aws lambda guys uh, in the lambda we're going to explain about a little bit about python how exactly lambda uses python and we also introduced the boto library okay and also we try to use the aws cli uh, to automate the things and finally in the module 24 we're going to see the best practices in deploying the aws as well as cost optimization how way, how way things are deployed like high level designs low level designs pro proof of concepts and we take in a project we discuss about that one overall this is completely hands-on experience guys uh, the aim for taking this course is if you so if you go attend an interview for only for aws engineer right you will def definitely clear that uh, clear that interview okay so coming back as you see so again it will be starting from april 4th night 9 pm to 11 pm ist indian standard time it is in english it will take two months happens only on saturday sunday tuesday and thursday might might add one more day based upon the requirement the expectation is you should have basic linux and windows knowledge and the fee is 12000 and you can reach me and you also find the phone number which i'm going to uh, give it there okay so thanks for watching see you in the training guys see you bye bye